Are Amazon talking to directors about the straight to cinema Stargate movie? And do I have a few names for you? Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci fi TV and movie channel. <laughs> So I promised you some really, really interesting news about Stargate in the last couple of videos where I've been able to tell you some really interesting stuff about what's going on behind the Iron Curtain at Amazon. We believe that we are getting really, really close now to an announcement regarding Stargate and this cinematic movie that we're kind of being promised. That we're getting lots and lots of talk online about this now and actors talking about it, ex producers of the show, Joseph Malozzi, etc., talking about it. It looks like this really is going to happen. But if they are doing a cinematic movie, you don't necessarily need a showrunner. You need a director. Now, previous movies, what they tend to do is when they get to the point of announcement, they tend to like to have sort of like that main actor, the star, the name that goes on the poster, and they have to have the director. The director will join very early on they will work hand in hand with writers, etc., and the development team that are actually going to decide the, really the direction of the project. The director is almost always on board really, really early. And when they're on board early and they actually do get a grips of the project, that tends to be when you get the best movies, TV shows, etc. So we don't necessarily need a showrunner, we need a director. And I've got three names for you. Now, according to my source over at MGM and Amazon, these directors have been very informally approached already. Um, actually, going back anything up to six months ago for one of the names, that these directors have had multiple conversations and that all three have expressed different levels of interest. So I'm not going to mess around anymore. I'm going to tell you who the names are. Joseph Kaczynski is the first director and apparently the first person they approached some time ago. Now, why would they approach the guy that directed the biggest cinematic release, if your name's not James Cameron, for the last few years? Really, probably the biggest cinematic release other than Avatar since COVID. I think that's a bit of a no-brainer. Most recently, Kaczynski did a movie for Netflix with Chris Hensworth and Miles Teller. Keep that in mind for a second. He also has a bit of a sci-fi history. He did the Tron movie and he did the Oblivion movie with Tom Cruise. So enjoys a bit of sci-fi. Also, there's an interesting connection there, as I mentioned, Miles Teller, who did appear in Spiderhead and also appeared in Maverick. That was a rumour that we heard a long time ago, that Miles Teller was potentially being put up as the actor to actually then appear in the main role. He'd have the Jack O'Neill role, if you like. Not literally. They're not recasting him. Don't get in the comments. But the leader of whatever new team or whatever project or whatever the movie was going to be based around. It's very, very interesting that several months later, we suddenly hear that the director was possibly in contact with Amazon even before Christmas about the Stargate movie. And then that Miles Teller name got added. This is a director that does seem to work with like the same actors several times. He's worked with Tom Cruise a couple of times. He's worked with Miles Teller a couple of times. So it doesn't surprise me then that his name leaked. Why Miles Teller? He obviously just appeared in Maverick. Goose's son did pretty well in that. He's one of those actors, though, that you know him, but you may not know his name. You know, he's not like a thoroughbred A-lister. He might be perfect for somebody that could jump between movies and TV series for a wider Stargate franchise. And I've been telling you guys for a long time, that's the sort of actor they wanted. When Lean Hemsworth let them down and he kept apparently arguing that he wanted producer roles and things. Um, but when he let them down and decided to jump ship to um, The Witcher, idiot, um, the first name we heard after that was Miles Teller. And I've not heard any actor's names since that have been attached. Joseph Kaczynski, for me, is a distinct possibility. He has got a couple of up-and-coming projects on his IMDb list, so that might slow things down a little bit. But it's still a very interesting name. I think he's a very good director. He has a good thoroughbred in sci-fi, and I actually think he could bring something really, really interesting to the sci-fi franchise. 
The next name I'm going to drop is Chris McKay. Now, he is a director that's actually worked with Amazon before. He recently did the Chris Pratt movie, The Tomorrow War. He's also He also recently did the Renfield movie, which I am dying to see. Um, I didn't get to go to the cinema for a couple of different reasons to watch it, and the wife wasn't particularly keen to go. Um, it's now on um, our Sky Cinema, but it's like fifteen quid to watch it, so I'm not I'm not doing that. I'll wait till it goes on Sky Cinema. I get it for you know maybe a couple of quid, but it looks like a really interesting movie. I'd love to know if you guys have seen Renfield. Get in the comments, tell me if it's any good or not. But this is a director that again has a sci-fi thoroughbred. The Tomorrow War was not a bad movie at all. It was cleverly put together. It was very nicely edited. The special effects were decent for a straight to streaming movie. And actually, I would give it a good solid eight out of 10. So he's a name that I would be very interested in. I think he would be a safe bet for Amazon. Amazon know him. People there have worked with him. And I just think that that is an easy but safe name to have in this little pot. Now, I can't tell you how many of these conversations I've had. With Kaczynski, I have a little bit more information because there have been several discussions. With McKay, it seems that there has been conversations, but I don't know much more than that. The last name was a bit of a wild card. And when I saw it, I have to admit it stood out a little bit. Jordan Peele. Now, this guy is actually an actor that you would know his face. And again, he's one of those actors that's done loads of things over the years. But he very recently directed the movie Nope. Now, last year, that was pretty critically acclaimed movie. It did pretty well at the box office as well. It's a sci-fi movie full of lots of mystery. I know that Harris particularly loved this film. He also did the movie Us a couple of years ago, which was a horror movie. Very high concept. Very strange film in lots of the ways. But beautifully put together. John Peel is one of those directors that gets involved in every aspect of his movies. They're his films. He really does get involved in the scripts, the direction, the photography, everything. So when a John Peel film comes out, it's a John Peel film. He's not got much on his IMDb other than an untitled John Peel movie. Other than that, he's got nothing upcoming. So, is that because he's been working very heavily on the Stargate franchise? Possibly. Now, I have to admit, looking at the movies he's done in the past, I couldn't quite see where Amazon were going with this. I didn't think he would be interested because it didn't sound like the sort of thing he would do. But actually talking to a very close friend of the channel and a really, really good source on matters like this, it would seem that possibly... There are reasons why John Peel makes sense. But sadly, at the moment, I can't see any more than that. But hopefully I'll be able to at some time in the future. All I can tell you is I didn't believe this and I thought it stuck out like a sore thumb. But after talking to the other source, all of a sudden, he might be the front runner. Or at very least, I can understand why he might be very, very tempted to get involved with the Stargate franchise. So... Who do I actually think is in the lead for this? I actually think it's possibly Kaczynski. The only issue being is whether they can get him to do it because he probably is one of the most in-demand young directors in Hollywood right now. So if Amazon can do a deal and they can get him to maybe agree to a three-movie deal or something like that with TV series intermixed, yeah, I think he could be a very, very exciting name to have connected to the Stargate franchise and a director that really, really could do the job very well. But to be honest, all three of these names interest me. I think all three of them could do a brilliant job. I love that all three of them have got a really decent history of sci-fi. And from a couple of things I've heard, all of them might be very interested in something like this. So... Guys, get into the comments. What do you think about these three names? Are they names that excite and interest you? Or are you thinking, uh, I'd love somebody else? Get into the comments and tell me who you'd love to see if you were suddenly in charge of Amazon. What director would you choose? Get into the comments, tell me exactly what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, ah, you know what to do. And 
As always, please stay safe. I'll see you next time.